So Janet, you were there and I was there. We watched <laughs> Donald Trump and Mike Pence, Mike Pence be sworn in as the 45th president of the United States and his vice president and describe the emotion of that moment. You were in the crowd on the mall. What did you see? I saw people, uh, unlike what we've heard reported, there were people everywhere in all different sections. It took uh, several hours to get through all the security checkpoints to get to where you can see the swearing in. But what I saw was the mercy of God. I stood there and, uh, and yes, I was emotional watching the, the swearing in of Donald J. Trump and Mike Pence and, and, and I, it's because I know what we were spared from. Uh, it's one of the things that, that Congressman Trent Frank said at the, uh, at the prayer breakfast the next morning. He said, you know, there's, there's a lot of uh, technical problems, perhaps, he said, but we could be mourning the death of the Constitution. And what I felt on that day, watching the swearing in, I felt so much hope. I, I saw a great big open door, and I can't tell you, chaps, I can't wait to run through that open door of opportunity that we now have because of the mercy of God. Just thank you, God. It's a new day in America, seeing the cabinet appointments, and we're trusting that God is going to uh, continue his mercy, that we're going to get a proven uh, justice on the Supreme Court with a proven pro-life track record. Uh, and and that's, that's just an exciting time where I'm standing next to members of Congress, like Congressman Trent Franks, who was at the prayer breakfast, Congressman Louis Gohmert and Steve King, uh, talking about how we're going to quit debating and, and, and regulating. We're actually going to end abortion in nearly every case when House Resolution 490 passes the House. It's an exciting day, and I can't tell you the optimism. I felt, walking through the streets of Washington, that the oppressive heaviness, that this darkness had lifted, that something broke in that town. Something broke in our nation, that there is hope and there is opportunity like we haven't seen perhaps in our lifetime.